Uh, hello again, Frank from uh, Austin Jewelers, uh, blingbling.ca. I'm going to do a two-sided uh, pendant. I'm going to show you guys a two-sided pendant that I'm going to do on the milling machine. So uh, here, like this. Sorry, pencil drawing like this. I loaded it and I just uh, scanned it and took a picture of it and just put it into art cam. And when it asks me the height, I just give it a very minimal height, like, uh, I don't know, I think it was maybe 0.4. And it's great for using afterwards to paste on top to get the detail. That's what all the pencil lines are and all that. So we, uh, I, use the, again, you know, like how shape editor, shape editor, I highlighted, what did I, hi I'll highlight the, uh, I'll highlight the center of the hammer here, that little piece there. So when you see it, and I've highlighted that, and I, I could add. Now watch the center of the, the, see how it jumped up like that? And that's how you build all of your heights and all of your shapes and everything like that. Okay, so edit, undo that, edit, undo. Okay, close that. Uh, you see I have my, I put the tabs on for two-sided machining. So that when you flip it and cut it again, it at least has something to hold on to the onto the block you're cutting it from. And uh, we'll go from we'll go. Uh, okay, so I want to cut the first side. I just want to cut. I know the size of my block and everything like that, and this is where its location is. But I just want to cut around the hammer. So then I go down to my tool paths, pick my tool path. I'll go back here, I'll pick three, 3D tooling, tool path, the selected vector that I wanted, my home position is safe, that's uh, is 10, I like that. The, the tool I'm using is a 0.09 flat conical, I, I select it. Uh, the material, the setup, the block I know is, is roughly 10 uh, millimeters thick, so half of which, it doesn't really matter, I know I've got enough room for it. But there's ten, five millimeters half the block, and it's 4.72 millimeters thick. The one side of it, I go OK, and now it'll. So that you can see the block there. Now I'm going to calculate, or have the computer calculate, the program calculate the tool path. The red, the red thing now is the tool path calculated up here. Tool paths, save the tool path. That's the tool path I wanted. I want to save it in Model Master three access, flat. Uh, save, what do I want to save it as, um, uh, side one, S-I-D one, axe, side one, axe, save, okay, close that, tool path, simulate the tool path, it simulates the tool path to make sure that everything's going to be all right, you see that, like, that's how it would be looking in that block, there's my, tabs on everything like that looks good okay so that's that uh, and then uh, I burn that to a CD and I load the CD into I load the CD into uh, that computer over here running the milling machine which is over here Okay, back to the project. Um, so I saved the side one, and now I'm going to do side two. And I know the way the axis I want to turn. I want to turn on this axis here, right? So what we want to do is go up to uh, the model. Uh, I make this little zero down here as a reminder to myself, this little O, to know what side I'm working on. So I've saved that as side one, and then I'm going to go mirror this. Uh, like the vertical. Okay? You see how that, that jumped up? This is the flip side of this machining. So the, the machine and the computer and the program will know that when I rotate my, uh, my rotary axis of the 180 degrees and I start from my starting point, where all the machining takes place in the starting point, I know the width of the, the, the block and I know my starting point. So when I flip this, it knows where to go. 
So then uh, I just want to machine again the outside vector. Go down to my tool paths. 3D. Uh, again, just go through the same process. The selected vector. Uh, the tool. It's the same tool. Uh, select and the material, the setup, this is the other half of the block now, that's okay, working from the bottom, calculate it now, tool paths, uh, save the tool path, that's the side 2, flat, file, save as uh, SID2, axe, save. Okay, so now I have both my tool paths. So I'm going to just start setting up the uh, milling machine and show you that. Okay, uh, I've got the, the the rotary deck on, and as you can see, I've put a little bit in into the four jaw chuck, and I've lined them up exactly, right? I mean, as as best as you can, right? It's going to be pretty exact because you're flipping here, and it needs to know exactly where it is. Okay, all right. Okay, but make sure now that I've set the, the two points matching, you got to make sure, I know this screen's weird here, but you got to make sure that you uh, zero everything so that you know where that starting point is, right? So that all your axes become zero. So that, that it matches, matches the two, the, bringing the two little points together, right? Okay. I moved, I moved the... Where's the white card? I moved the... I moved... Uh-huh, uh-huh. I moved the cutter over 32 millimeters off of zero because I know that the width of my work... The width of my work is 62, so half of that's 31. So, not 32, I need to go back to 31 and then I'll put that in a 31, right? So I know that's my block of wood. I mean, a uh, block of wax.